Hi everyone! Welcome back to the channel. I can't tell you how bad the network errors on Star Stable have been for me recently. Everybody who has good Wi-Fi, shout out to you, because I don't. Like, literally, I got booted off the game like seven times because my Wi-Fi keeps cutting out. So hopefully it doesn't this time. But today we are talking about cryptozoology. I made a video last summer about how I wish Bigfoot would be added to games, mermaids, harpies, Loch Ness Monster possibly. And since I was younger, I've always loved cryptozoology. When I was like 12, I wanted to be a cryptozoologist so bad. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, I was hyper fixated on it so, so intensely. By the way, in the last video, I talked about hyper fixations. And obviously, hyperfixations are not a choice, but my point is that if you have multiple hyperfixations, obviously try to focus on the one that brings you the most joy, because then it could make, I guess, life feel a little happier, because you're focusing on stuff that's happier to you. Anyway, <laughs> but basically, but basically, when I was a kid, I wanted to be a cryptozoologist so bad. I used to literally look up alien sightings all the time, Bigfoot sightings, Loch Ness Monster sightings, Tasmanian Tiger sightings, mermaid sightings, and I still kind of do that. I'm more skeptical now though, but cryptozoology is still a really, really fun topic, and that's why I've decided that on my second channel, obviously, go subscribe to that. But for my next video, I was like, I should definitely talk about cryptozoology because I love cryptids, and I have a few good books about cryptids, and was like, that's a really great idea. If you have any favorite cryptids, then obviously comment them down below. Sometimes I watch cryptozoology videos about, like, sightings or reports, and I don't believe a lot of cryptids are real, because some cryptids literally make no sense. But I, like, low-key, high-key kind of think Mothman is real. It doesn't make any sense at all, really. It doesn't. However, what if he's literally, like, a demon that, like, came to life or something? Bigfoot could make sense because there was, like, a Gigantopithecus ape that walked the earth, like, 10,000 years ago, which isn't even that long ago. Might have been less than that, honestly. And... If it was still around, that could make sense. I mean, we discover new species every single year, so... Like, a lot of you people think, Oh, well, we already discovered everything. No, we have not. We really haven't. I think the Loch Ness Monster probably could be real, but I don't think it would live in the Loch Ness. Because... Do you know how small the Loch Ness Monster would have to be to live in the Loch Ness? It is a really, I guess, kind of deep lake, but it also kind of isn't. I just feel like we would be seeing it more often because the pleosaur, plesiosaur, it's not a reptile, I'm pretty sure. I think it's a mammal. So it'd have to come up for air, obviously. I do think if the plesiosaur is real, if the Loch Ness Monster is real, it's probably somewhere in the ocean. Apparently there's a theory that there's a like an underground tunnel that goes to the Loch Ness, and that could be possible, but I feel like these mammals would survive better in the ocean. But basically, I have some good cryptozoology books. I don't have a lot of them. There is a cryptozoology book I want, but I'm not going to go buy it because I don't really need it right now. I'm too busy focusing on mermaids and stuff like that, obviously. <laughs> I think mythical creatures could also be considered cryptids. Like, hear me out, mermaids are considered mythical creatures, but there are some sightings of them, like video sightings on YouTube that look really, really real. Also, trying to keep videos short lately because when I talk a lot, the video takes way longer to upload and my Wi-Fi is so bad. So, yep, that's that. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.